Let me show you something, YouTube friends. This one, I'm taking apart now. And I still got this one apart. And now it's getting confusing. But good thing I took pictures, like, before I started. But this one here, I want to show you what was inside. It was like a candy-coated surprise. When, you, when I took it apart, we had the capacitor looks like that <clears throat> we also had like um, it's like I guess what they call a hank of wire and what I did was I, I took this apart and it's, it's a resistive wire and the schematic says that if we look here schematic says that where is it right in the middle 250 ohms and to the left of that resistor is the capacitor 0 0.05 microfarad so this guy here is uh, I took it apart and I put some electrical tape around it and you can just barely see those wires but those wires they go into here and also the new capacitor has to go in there too and I measured the resistance of this and it's about 260 ohms so that's good so what I'm going to do is kind of make like a little sandwich here put put the capacitor like on top of that put it all together but I just wanted to show you that because this is this is pretty interesting it's a resistive wire resistor and I guess they made it out of wire for stability I suppose or I don't know if they want a little inductance in there too. That'll be that'll be an interesting trick, huh? A little inductance to go with a capacitor maybe. So I'm gonna reuse this. I'm not gonna use another resistor because I'm a little scared. I don't know whether or not this needs a little inductance in there. Or they use that wire for better stability. But at any rate, I'm gonna reuse it. But I just wanted to show you that some of them have that inside of it. I thought that's pretty interesting. So take it easy folks. Have a great day. Bye.